What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Les Alex here and today I've got a pretty cool, pretty different, pretty unique kind of video set up for you in comparison to a lot of my other videos. As you can see and as you read by the title, the NHL and the NHL Players Association came to an agreement today on whether or not they should continue the season. So they finalized it. They said yes, if the states and the country's government allows it then they will have the playoffs and this is no longer proposed this is the actual playoff bracket tournament it's a very interesting and very unique kind of uh, proposal and a tournament basically that they're doing so if you haven't heard i'll explain it real quick and then we'll get into some sports cards if you enjoy this kind of content make sure to like it that is the number one way to tell youtube's algorithm that this is valued content and if you're new here make sure to smash that subscribe button join the team and hit that post notification bell icon this is going to be kind of a different kind of video that i'm doing so stay with me though so here it is the proposed 24 team playoffs all of the teams from 8 to 12 have to play a play-in so they haven't finalized how many games each of these teams are going to be playing so it could be five could be seven um, could be three, I guess, technically. But the interesting and the most interesting thing is the teams that are right here. So the Blues, Avs, Golden Knights, and Stars in the West. And then the Bruins, Lightning, Flyers, and Capitals in the East are going to play a round-robin style tournament to decide uh, pairings, or seedings rather. So what that means is even though the Boston Bruins rightfully won the President's Trophy, they could get a lower seed if they do poorly in this round-robin tournament. Again, we don't know exactly the setup. I think it's probably going to be you just play each team once, and whichever team has the best record, that's who's going to be seeded number one, and they'll have some kind of tiebreaker system, uh, maybe overall points or something like that in those, in those games. So it's very interesting, to say the least. As you read in the title, this is going to be five players' cards that could potentially raise in value based off of this structure, based off of the 2020 playoff system. I'm really excited to bring this to you. I hope it is valued content to you. So let's get things started. I said it's five, but it's actually going to be six because I can't keep this man off of a list. I know I did another list here most recently, and you can check that out. I'll put that card up in the top right-hand corner. You can check that uh, other NHL video. I'm going to show you these, again, a different kind of video. I'm not going to have the stats up, but I just want to show you guys. So the first player, of course, we're on eBay completed. And you hit go down here. You hit sold items. You hit ended recently. And this will bring them up. The first player is going to be William Nylander of the Toronto Maple Leafs. If the Toronto Maple Leafs can get out of the play-in rounds i mean his his cards could see a very real spike his cards aren't out of you know in the stratosphere yet they're not crazy yet he's a very great young talent 75 dollars for his psa 10 here and then 17 to 18 for his raws so again i think there is humongous upside for him here's one that was 11 bucks that was on the 25th so just a couple days ago 11 dollars raw that is not bad you include shipping, that's fifteen fifty To kind of book in that point with the Young Guns hype and with the Maple Leafs hype, I do have to mention Austin Matthews. He is one of the leaders on this team. No, he's not wearing the C quite yet, but he is definitely their uh, hottest player. You know, he's one of their most exciting players. So Austin Matthews, yes, I, I understand that price is expensive. You know, shy just shy of $300. That's nothing to shake a stick at. But oh my gosh, guys, if they win the cup, his price specifically will, I could see it more than doubling because, oh my gosh, it Maple Leafs, it's, it's the biggest fan base in the NHL if you compare him to other players, even Connor McDavid who may or may not be on this list in the $600 range for his PSA 10. So I think Austin Matthews is a great get here, especially, especially if they can, you know, go deep into this playoffs. And if they win, oh my gosh, the sky's the limit for Matthews and Nylander. 
but specifically for for Matthews. So you know, three hundred dollar range. You can also obviously go after the Raws. They're about one one fifty to one seventy five. So Austin Matthews again is going to be the second player on this list. Kind of combining him with Nylander. The next player I wanted to talk about is a New York ranger new york ranger now obviously he's not wearing a rangers uni in this one because he was not drafted by them our timmy panarin in my opinion very underrated his raw cards are under 20 bucks so that's a great spot to be if you're on a budget his tins are starting to creep up there but still a hundred dollars if they can hoist the trophy he could see a huge spike I'm really excited for him. He's one of the best young players that really is under the radar, honestly. I really like Artemi Panarin as my second official pick. Next up, we have another exciting player, an all-star player, a Calder Trophy winner, Nathan McKinnon. Nathan McKinnon on the Avalanche, as you can see, he's a beast. He is an absolute stud. He is a big, big-time points getter, and I think if... You know, he can take the Colorado Avalanche. They've got a very loyal fan base. They're one of the American teams that I would definitely, definitely be investing in. You know, that's what I say all the time is if you're investing in sports cards, in hockey cards specifically, you want to go with teams in Canada more often than not just because their fan bases are so much larger than the teams in the United States. So for that reason, I typically try and stay away from some of the smaller market teams. Avalanche have a great fan base. Obviously, that price tag is not cheap, but he is on the level, eh, close to on the level of Austin Matthews. So I think this is a fine get here. If we scroll down and look at some of his raws right around $100, I could see these going up to $180 to $200 raw. And the same multiplier to the PSA 10s as well. Because a cup is so much clout, guys. A cup means so much in the world of hockey, if you're not familiar. Next guy I want to talk about is Jordan Bennington. Jordan Bennington, obviously, I'm a Blues fan, so maybe this is a little bit of a biased pick. But personally, he won a Stanley Cup his first season. He came in second place in the Calder Trophy voting. So that's Rookie of the Year for those of you that don't, uh, don't hockey. But... Yeah, I mean, he's great. He hasn't been as good as last season, but still, he's still been very good. He has a very high save percentage and a very good goals against average. So I'm really high on Bennington still. $70 for his raw young guns. So you can expect that to go up to, I would expect, man, 125 These are all guys I'm investing in and I'm putting money on. I'm really excited that hockey is finally back. I'm looking for a PSA 10. Oh, here's one. So 119, less than 119. You know, that raw to PSA 10 multiplier is not too high now. So that was on the 15th though. It doesn't look like there's too many on the market either from what I was looking at, but these are all completed. So Jordan Bennington Young Guns is going to be my fourth official pick on this list and the final one Connor mcdavid if he can bring a championship back to the oilers oh my gosh oh my gosh his card's gonna pop off yes it's 630 dollars yes that's a lot of money i understand that he is the best player in the nhl and if he can deliver a stanley cup trophy back to edmonton the first time since the great one, Wayne Gretzky, did it way back in the day. His card prices are going to go through the roof. I could see him going as high as Sidney Crosby and Alexander Ovechkin. So I'm really excited. Um, I'm really excited for these playoffs. Great news overall. Let me know what you think. Do you think these playoffs are going to happen? Or do you think this quarantine is going to extend too far along to where we just don't we just don't get hockey. I'm pretty hopeful they're starting to talk about places where they're going to be playing. Obviously, there's going to be no fans in the stands, so how will that affect it? They haven't finalized every little detail. They don't know about where they're going to play exactly and all that stuff, but they are figuring it out, and I am hopeful. I personally do believe we will get the finish to our season, to the NHL season. I'm really excited. So let me know in the comments below. Do you think I nailed this list? Or do you think these players might not be the best picks? Either way, let me know in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this content, make sure to slap it with a like. Because that is, again, the number one way to help support the content. And if you enjoyed it, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. And join the team if you haven't yet already. We're at the end of the video. So you might as well. You made it this far. But yeah, everybody. 
another just kind of quick video that I wanted to make here and get out to you guys because this is kind of breaking news kind of. And yeah, I'm really excited. Hockey is looking like it's going to be back this year. And until next time, keep collecting, keep cracking packs, and I'll see you in the next one.